Welcome to the weekly weather briefing for the Inland Northwest from the National Weather Service in Spokane for the week of December 5th. Noticeably cold weather continues through Thursday, and there will be several opportunities for snow over the next seven days. Each opportunity will carry potential impacts, especially around the mountains and mountain passes. However, the broadest impact potential comes between Thursday and Friday, when moderate snow accumulations are possible in both mountain and valleys. First, here is the seven-day forecast for temperatures around the region. It shows much below normal temperatures through Thursday, before temperatures moderate closer to normal Friday into Sunday. However, during the period of much below normal temperatures, it is good to remind people that when seeking warmth, to use appropriate heat sources to avoid the dangers of carbon monoxide poisoning. A weak system moves by this afternoon into Tuesday. This image shows the most likely snow amounts for this system. The bulk of the snow is expected near the Cascades in western Columbia Basin this afternoon, with the threat expanding east this evening into Tuesday morning. Generally, amounts in the 1 to 3 range are possible across the Cascades through upper Columbia Basin and Palouse, while lower amounts are expected northeast of here. However, if the band of snow is slightly displaced northward, there could be more snow around the Spokane Coeur d'Alene area, but still amounts should not be much more than an inch. A system with broader impacts moves in between Thursday and Friday. Confidence that the system will produce snow is high. Confidence in precise timing and amounts is low. However, loose agreement suggests snow starts to develop from the west Thursday morning or afternoon with possible impacts beginning in the Cascades to western Columbia Basin. Snow then expands east Thursday afternoon and evening and continues through Friday, though by the afternoon, risks for moderate snow accumulations start to retreat away from the lee of the Cascades and deeper Columbia Basin. While we expect snow to come in, there has been some inconsistency in the amounts, and confidence in precise amounts is low. But here is the first estimate of some snow amounts. The least amount of snow we are expecting is on the left side, while the forecast as it stands now is on the right. For example, we are expecting at least 2 inches in the mountain valleys, the Spokane area, and Palouse, but it is more likely these areas will see 3 to 6 inches. There is some thought there could be some freezing rain mixed in with the system, particularly late in the forecast period as some milder air tries to get in. But right now, confidence in this precipitation type is low but we will continue to monitor this. Additional systems pass through the weekend, which will keep the periodic threat of snow alive. The best chances will be in the mountains, while the valleys will have a lower risk. Expect some travel impacts in the mountains and passes. Travel impacts are possible in the valleys, but not as certain. Looking at the medium range outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, the forecast calls for above normal precipitation chances and cooler than normal temperatures. That boils down to the potential for more snow. Here is an overview of the impacts for the next week. Here are the ways for you to stay informed this week about any upcoming weather. Have a nice week.